So uh, hello, uh, I'm Arjun, and this is Vinda, and uh, welcome to Get Candid with Headlines, presented by Spartan Poker. So we are honored to have three budding influencers with us today: uh, Shreyas Mandiratta, Ritvi Shah, and Muskan Ranka. Hi guys, welcome. We are so excited to have you guys here with us today. Literally, all our viewers and everyone from Simpals love your content and your reels, and uh, we'd like to ask you a few questions. to begin the segment okay so you know you know because of covid lockdown was imposed and uh, you know we were all stuck in the same place so you know during the lockdown period there was a sudden increase in the digital media engagement and uh, do you think that was one of the factors that motivated you guys to create content on instagram uh, let's start with you shreyas I guess um, um, I was creating content since uh, I started creating uh, way back in 2017, but I hadn't explored the area of comedy and uh, mm-hmm. funny videos or or videos in general. I was just creating music covers and mm-hmm. uh, just be tarase. मेरे को समझ थी software की ज़्यादा समझ थी नहीं मुझे. I was creating uh, it uh, on a very you can say um, makeshift basis, and I was not very regular with it because considering that studies and everything were there. come lockdown time and uh, i got a lot of time to explore new things and uh, explore the whole world of short format video creation which mm-hmm. is what is promoted on reels as well as on tiktok before it got banned i was actively uh, exploring that platform also contrary to what popular belief says and what people say that tiktok usually has that association of you know cringe content there are a lot of good content creators and i would say there is like so much more potential in that platform and it allowed me to you know explore the whole world of short video creation i started resharing that on instagram as well and uh, when tiktok got banned and instagram introduced reels i already knew i was well equipped with the whole uh, right. skill and the mindset to explore sh- uh, short format videos but the key the core uh, point of it was just to be yourself which i tried to promote and it automatically started uh, gaining traction M- mm-hmm. most probably because uh, a lot of people had time time was uh, the availability of time was a key factor in both the con- uh, content creators uh, aspect as well as the uh, audiences aspect so both mm-hmm. both of them had time the creators had more time to create the audience had more time on their hands to watch so people started watching they actively engaged with it and shared with it ki bhai ye dekho ye kitna mast hai and it automatically uh, the journey started it gained acceleration yeah so you know my feed yeah. all the time like you did my read <laughs> <laughs> i hope uh, i stay there i don't go away anywhere <laughs> for sure for sure um okay so we'll move on to the next question um so I mean, before you guys, there's obviously you know a generation of influencers before us too. Whether it was on you know YouTube, yeah, uh, you know Facebook. So each of these influencers had that blue tick of verification. Was that some kind of goal that you wanted to achieve, or was it just if it was there, you would be happy about? Uh, let's start with Muskan this time. Um, I think blue tick is not the goal. Uh. to me for me i think uh, it's more important it, it's not i mean of course blue tick carries a huge i mean it's a huge factor to anybody's career but i think being respected for what you do matters more than a blue tick for me you're big on instagram but like that doesn't make you big on any social media platform it's your audience that makes you big right it's your it's uh, it's what you create your content that makes you big and it's your it's the content that you have to stay true to so i think uh my my goal and i'm sure like both of their goals is uh their their audience you know keeping mm-hmm. their audience in mind and definitely growing definitely. when it comes to content and not just like a blue tick because it's just there you know it doesn't really mean anything unless you really work for it yeah hmm. yeah yeah all of you make great points like i get it um so guys now we will start a short game segment okay so uh, we have had a lot of trends recently and you guys are trend setters yourselves uh, so 
we'll give a few hints about each trend and the first one to come up with the right answer gets the point okay so yeah. i'll start off with yeah, the first hamper or something <laughs> tell me tell me if we get anything guys, guys <laughs> we're all uh, we're all winners over here and so matter kar dena chalega ha muskan muskan you will get validation yes <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, i'll start off with the first one uh okay so uh it's a very recent challenge where you start off with just standing within your doorway silhouette challenge wow okay. both of you got it brinda you keep track of the points okay okay so both of you get the point for this one um okay. this next challenge gets you cold and wet and it was considered one of the first viral challenges and also this was actually introduced correct yeah yeah i my internet connection is a little unstable so i could not hear it that's what i tell my teacher uh okay wow that was fast okay i'm sorry so for, okay so now that that challenge is over uh get ready for this one So you either go the right way or the left way. This or that. This pitch is smart. So I go. I think this smart. I go. So something, something. I I remember the song. This or that. Yeah. Yeah. The the next hint was uh, the song played in the background is very tricky. Tricky. Yeah. So like, yeah. 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 Tricky. Yeah. Okay. That was a long time ago. So the next one. The next one is the most recent one. Okay. Uh, I'll give you an example. Roses are red, violets are blue. This be recorded. Yeah, this be recorded. Message is applause for you. Yes, wow. We um, got it. I think guys, it's pretty clear that this round was won by the three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the noises in the background. <laughs> yeah, no noises. Noises. Miss Khan, you will still get validation. No worries. It's okay. You only. You guys are all winners now. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, moving on. Um. So, uh, you guys are constantly putting out content in new and innovative ways. But I'm sure you guys must be reaching a point where you might not be able to efficiently work. You'll be hitting a mental block, or you'll be burning out. So, how do you overcome this? I mean, you guys are putting out content almost every day, from what I've seen. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's start with uh, Shreya this time. Was someone mm, speaking? For me, you know, uh, it's very rare that you know I hit a creative block. I do hit it, but it it is it has become very rare because you know the whole it's it's the mind game. It's the it's about perception because if you closely observe, if you look at anything, potentially every each and every molecule in this universe can give you content. This is what I believe. You can come up with the Content piece with a stapler also. You can come up with the content piece of Dabur Chavantra, which actually has peanuts inside. So you can come up with anything. Any everything has content. So the, the, since there is never ending content, so there should be no reason for you hitting the creative block. But yes, how you you know tap into something something's potential and reach out that is like a limitation because not every time you are able to create content out of it. So the best not all content, way to yes, not all content is good either. Yes, because there is a certain quality that you have to maintain. So in that case, it's just best to take break, take a break, take, do nothing creative, do nothing productive, take a stroll outside, and just lie down on the bed, chill, do something which is not at all related to your creative process. I get, The best part about studying MBBS is I get my most of the ideas while opening the book and sitting in front of it. So because पढ़ाई क्योंकि एक time के बाद इतनी boring हो जाती है you can't remember the names of each and every muscle nerve etc etc. So bore इंसान हो ही जाता है. हाँ. Yeah, automatically and if the mind is like a free thinking mind, I try to keep myself in that zone. Automatically content comes delivered to your doorstep. I mean that's a great situation if you put it that way. um okay so um muskan uh do you have any tips uh i think yeah just like shreya said being non productive can also result in productivity so i think yeah let's just 
do nothing if you getting that creative block just do nothing just do nothing and for me i what i do is i write i write scripts i write i don't i don't do anything related to comedy i don't write or uh, funny things or comic things but i write proper like suspense thriller or thing i i like writing a lot so i do something in that genre and uh, yeah i mean, oh, you like writing a book sorry are you like writing a book no but i have been appointed for writing a couple of short films so oh. the script is oh wow films. so that, i that's... keep writing suspense thriller and bahut se mujhe bahut zyada ideas aate hain to be honest sare funny wale bhi wahi se aa jate hain तो मेरे लिए एक वो ज्यादा एक प्लस पॉइंट है कि मैं दूसरे जॉनर में भी काफी लगती हूँ तो उससे मुझे कॉमेडी में भी हेल्प हो जाती है अदर देन दैट वाई डू नथिंग अदर देन दैट डू नथिंग लिखो भी मत अगर इफ यू आर गेटिंग दैट क्रिएटिव ब्लॉक टॉक टू ऑल्सो हाँ इफ यू आर गेटिंग दैट क्रिएटिव ब्लॉक द बेस्ट द बेस्ट 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 वे टू फाइट दैट ब्लॉक इज observation observe your surroundings and talk to people talk to your friends talk talk to anyone this has actually happened i uh, i was getting this block and i was talking randomly to a very old friend and i was talking with how you it, it was his birthday and i was talking to him how how's it going and remember back when we went to uh, we went to coaching and we went to tuition and uh, he reminded me of something which i could get content out of so it just depends the more you observe the more content you get just like share like you can get it out of anything so there's no such thing as creative block as long as you are uh, you are you know open about it so let the so, idea in so either do something different or do nothing i mean that or rest yeah okay arithvi you have something else yeah yeah everything i think i wanted to say both of them said it i'm sure they tried and tested it uh yeah resting giving yourself that space to really just chill um and relax because sometimes when i don't create content i feel guilty about it ki maine content create nahi kiya yaar ki aaj aaj reel dalne ka tha aur aaj reel nahi dala kyunki i just didn't have the mental capacity to do that right aaj ek din and i feel guilty a lot uh and it's just like giving yourself that time to really Uh, you know i'm just going to observe as muskan said uh, i i usually watch a lot of content uh because i feel nothing in life is original everything is is inspired by anything mm-hmm. right uh so there's nothing as originality everything is inspired so i i do watch a lot of content i'll watch like random tv shows um again as muskan said just talk to a lot of people just do nothing literally chill uh and yeah usually that really helps me overcome that block uh just you know resting that's it from listening to all of you guys that sounds the smartest but i put out no content for a while that bad mm-hmm. content i guess that exactly you know now that the world is just opening up and uh, the opportunities are just there at your doorstep you still wish to continue content creation in your future like would you still want to create content in your future between yeah oh yeah definitely because this so I'm not smart uh, like she is uh, so like you know i the only thing i to buy kar raha hai are to एक सेकेंड एक सेकेंड इस बात को मैं जरा क्लैरिफाई कर दू मैं जस्ट एडमिशन लेने से स्मार्ट नहीं हो जाते हैं पढ़ाई करनी पड़ती है डिग्री एडमिशन लेने से एडमिशन लेने से डिग्री नहीं मिल जाएगी चार साल की पढ़ाई करनी पड़ती है और वो एक एक चैप्टर पे निर्भर कर पढ़ना पड़ेगा नहीं तो इंसान का भाई साहब यहाँ पे लगाने वाला इंजेक्शन यहाँ लगा दिए तो फिर तो कैसे काम चलेगा इंसान के साथ खिलवाड़ा है तो हम्बल मत बन कि मतलब 
So, well, that, see, that's the thing. The, the content creation is one of the things I'm actually really good at, I think. Uh, and, you know, my mindset is very, like, business-like. I'm very business-minded because that's what I've seen in my house. I'm a Gujarati. I'm a Gujarati. <laughs> so, I've seen that. So, I think uh, it is uh, about time that I really take it seriously. Like, you know, content creation. There is a lot of potential in the coming years. I, I can see so many companies investing in influencer marketing. getting that you know we advertising is very cheap it's very cheap for the company and it, it is it's effective as effective as an ad and hiring like a celebrity like a a-list celebrity right so i think there's a lot of potential in this area and if someone is is knows how to tap into the market and knows how to create content and knows how to connect with their audience i think there's a lot of potential so yes yeah. in the coming year i would and definitely you love guys to are uh, you guys are far more active than celebrities so you get a bigger reach too like... oh yeah, yeah, yeah. uh i guess <laughs> yeah, but fine. yeah What about you, Manan? Would you want to create content in the future as well? Definitely, definitely, definitely. This is what I want to do for my entire life. Literally, this is what I want to do. I mean, mm-hmm. acting basically what I want to do till, I mean, till the day I die. Literally, I have so much of fun creating this, and even for brands, it's it's just like uh, Ritvi just said. it's it's better for brands to invest in influencers rather than investing in you know mega uh, i mean celebrities literally at least 10 million followers okay because mm. they, that would be really expensive plus that would not be uh, as effective because we because when people see us like on uh, on instagram they see ki ha are are ye to mere jaisi hai so for example there is um For example, there is a Dio ka ad, okay? And if if an hmm. actress is doing it, okay, so people will be like, "Arey yar, this kid is so outfit and so expensive and all that." And if we do it, we are like, "Badbu arey kis laga hai?" Simple, that simple. So people relate to that, and that is the only reason. And even brands are looking for ROI. They are just looking for return yeah. on invest. So it's better for the brands as well. And other than that, uh, when it comes to my content, I think I really like acting. So yeah, talking about acting, that is what I want to do till the until the day I die. Uh, and yeah, content. I as long as I'm having fun making it, I'll continue. Yeah, I remember there was this. Uh, there's this. I mean, there's still a hype, like uh, you know, influencers coming in TV ads and stuff. Like when BB came in that uh, Lynn Scott ad, everyone was it's like, yeah. Patita making it to Netflix. That was a huge. Yeah. That was a huge. Yeah. Thing. so i have a question like related to this one only like so most content creators like that's the safe path right or is it like some people just go all in like it's a new it's a new industry right uh she wants to say something <laughs> <laughs> no he does not want to say something you complete different nobody wants to say good ंग 
जब दवाई दे देंगे गोली सुबह शाम Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes, okay. because it's like ki everything is there. Is so mu- there is so much to explore. My pro- uh, my aim was to explore. It's not about thinking about the future. Future me kya karenge? Me na personally take ye future me kisi ko kya pata? Kis se dekha future? Abhi meteor meteor char ho jayega, sab mar jayenge. Kuch kuch nahi pada ho. Abhi abhi aayenge. Never know. Five years from now, we will see shares in the OPD center. <laughs> following some following some trend on reels. उटरीस Okay, so we'll have another games round now. Okay, uh, you'll have to guess what celebrity we're talking about. Uh, Rinda will start. So this first celebrity is my personal favorite, and I'll do her impression. Okay. So the boy I'm talking to said. Oh, Sakshi Shibda. Oh, Sakshi Shibda. Oh. Okay, Shreyas got this one. <laughs> I I have. We took time to discuss and we start. Yeah, Rithvi okay. took some time. Rithvi took some time. Yeah. <laughs> It's a tie. So, so a tie between Shreyas okay. and we start. <laughs> okay, so for the next one, uh, I'm a singer and an actor. Uh, I don't have the best relationship with Kangana Ranaut, but I love. Diljit uh, Dosanjh. <laughs> Okay. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who <laughs> said it first? The first is yeah. yes. when they said. I've said uh, the I'm first character. I'm I'm a singer and an actor. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So the next one is uh, I am a content creator like you guys. I'm uh, a Punjabi. I have a series of how Punjabi say things differently. Ah, we should watch it. I have told. <laughs> Who said Vishnu Goshal? <laughs> Who said Vishnu Goshal? Because uh, actually, both of you spoke at the same time. Yeah. So you heard both of us here saying it at the same time. I mean, that's that. That doesn't mean we said it at the same time. <laughs> you know, uh, in- internet needs a little. Well, that is not my problem. Me ra chal ra hai. Me ra chal ra. Sounds like a personal problem. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Not to me, problems. <laughs> This next um, person that I'm talking about creates tunes that will get stuck in your head all day. Yes, Raj Mukate. Correct. Wow, that was fast. Wow. Yeah. I was thinking about Anshuman. I thought that you would go for Anshuman. I I thought I just thought because he's also a really good creator. Hmm. Anshuman is Anshuman is phenomenal. Anshuman is crazy. I thought she was talking about Anshu. Okay, okay, good. So this next celebrity, uh, recently starred in a Netflix series along with Rohit Sena, and is a very famous YouTuber. Mostly same. Mostly same. Yes. Yes. Are yar. You know, वैसे it was but it's actually a tie between the three of you. All three of you got, I guess, equal number. One, yeah, a win and a tie. Everyone's a winner here. Yes, everyone's the winner, winner anyways <laughs> <laughs> very diplomatic you guys should be doing muns <laughs> i tried i tried six times don't i can't do another yeah just bus okay let's see i have a question for you so you know you're in the fashion industry and it is something that uh, you know continuously evolves and changes and uh, you know we've seen iconic classic trends recently come back for example the corset and, and uh, yes and uh, those flared pants so what do you yeah where where is this industry heading towards Uh, I think one of the things we do in fashion forecasting is the class that I'm taking right now is we observe uh, we observe trends we observe social media we also observe political standpoints and uh, whatever that is happening around us uh, and then we 
you know, foresee what will happen in the near future. So right now, um, because of Netflix TV shows like Bridgerton, and also, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we are in this in this whole mindset of we are fantasizing and romanticizing the 19th century and the 18th century. That's where corsets really came into place. Uh, I think I think the industry is headed towards like making comebacks of little bits and pieces from. I think now will be the 19th and the 20th century. Um, I think uh, because corsets are back, I think like the dresses that have like a really higher waistline will be back because I think I do see the trends happening. Even, you know, those balloon sleeves that were really popular in 1850s, mm. they are also coming back, uh, which will be, you know, really great for the future because it gives some volume. So I think more um, also in the men's fashion, more feminine structures will be seen. Uh, as you can see, because Harry Styles have, uh, you know, celebrities like Harry yeah. Styles, and even like in India, Siddharth Bhatra, he's also doing a great job, even Anupashri Paguna. So they are doing a really great job in eliminating toxic masculinity. And I think uh, what's going to come into place uh, from where we can see in the 17th, 19th, 18th century, uh, guys you know men used to wear a lot of stuff that now they do not the culture norms have changed so i think it's going to change again and we are going to see a lot of uh, men wearing uh feminine structured clothing um and obviously the roles can be reversed uh where females are going to wear more masculine structured clothing right so yeah um, okay. Okay, so yeah. my next question is for uh, Shreyas. So I've noticed that you're very vocal about social issues in the content where you're calling out people and you're talking about toxic masculinity, mental health, or the education system. So do you ever like struggle to, you know, uh, put these social aspects of what's going on into your content while trying to be funny at the same time? Yes, of course, because if you're talking about something which has a socio-political reference, Things may not turn out in your favor if you're trying no to add anything. humor into it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So it has to be, you know, it that that is there is a fine zone where you have to operate, and that is where your creativity comes in. But yeah, at the same time, I feel that the uh, issues that can issues can be targeted if the if not just a particular section of people is you know uh, included in that. Mm -hmm. For example, if we are talking about. Uh, uh, you know, if, if you're talking about like, molestation against women, mm. if we should talk about the whole issue because I'm pretty sure that this is something that uh, almost every other girl must have faced at a very big level or maybe at a very micro level. But in some way or the other, uh, the women, the girls in our country or probably the whole world, they have faced it in some form or the other. So it's b better to address the whole issue in general rather than targeting a particular case because you don't know what is attached to that case if there may, may be political in, uh, in involvement of politicians involvement of some sort of uh, you know uh, gangsters or mafia or criminals mm -hmm. and uh, some people may not be you know there must be uh, divisions of uh, political ideologies right wing left wing based on a particular uh, uh, issue so it's better to target the whole problem rather than just one specific instance yeah. this is what i feel and the other problem that i face is that sometimes you're not able to address every other issue that comes up every other issue that comes up in the newspaper or probably in on the social media people are sharing it the reason why i i'm not able to do this because i don't usually find enough time to read mm -hmm. up on the whole situation properly considering the fact that other commitments are also there so what i know yeah, it's better to not say rather than to spread false information. So that Gosh. is where, yeah, that is one thing that I feel. So if I find the time, I would definitely read the read up the whole incident, read up about the mm -hmm. whole incident. And that is where I operate. Okay, uh, my next question is for Muskan. Um, so like every field, uh, content creation also must have its ups and downs. And these ups and downs from your life, I'm sure they've taught you something new and they widen your horizon. Like, how do you, um, you know, overcome these downs and, you know, portray it through your content and, and tell people what they've taught you? 
um i think okay when you are able to turn a huge misery of your life into something funny and then when people relate to it and people also find it funny that's when you won it you you just you just won it that's when you that's when you realize that that's how i think that's how you move on and that's how i tried doing this i was going through a huge uh, a really low phase of my life when i started doing this and uh, this really helped me overcome that phase and i think uh, it's only even now like even now i have been facing a lot of ups and lows and also i think for every content creator uh, no matter how they no matter how much they deny reach matters okay the the viewership if it drops low it matters engagement if it drops low it matters the number of followers if they drop low that really matters so i'll tell you uh, this one time i got when i got like nearly 11 i was i, I was having a good growth and then when i was mm -hmm. at 11 or 11.5000 followers it it suddenly got low and and i don't know if maybe i uh, maybe it's because of the quality of the content that people might not like or people might not relate so they st they started unfollowing and mm -hmm. the point about instagram is this something i can definitely tell you that the audience or the base you have is very volatile so it's very volatile i mean people can uh, the more quickly they follow the more quickly they can unfollow so the yeah. follow to unfollow ratio is really it's it's really volatile it can really just yeah crash you messes with your head yeah with your head so when i was at 11.5 i went back to 10.5 like 1000 followers the depression of 1000 followers within a day or two which is somewhat i i thought that it's, it's this something must have been wrong with the content or maybe i was not able to figure out and that was something i felt really low at and other than this yeah this is about this is one thing about the number of followers or the, or the reach or the engagement mm. and uh, after that incident i have decided that i won't really the hate a lot other point is when uh, the 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 type of comments or maybe like i started to uh, believe in the fact that i need to uh, build a better relationship with my base ki theek hai abhi jitne log hai na unke sath mujhe acche se because this is like my gang and jitne log hai na jitne bhi log hai wo sab mere log hai so i need to get a better relationship with them not like as a you know you have i am an influenza and you have been following an influenza i am not an influencer and i the only thing i influence people to do is not to be to not to be an influencer literally that's that or i influence people to sleep or eat a lot and just like be themselves and just like chill that's mostly what i am and the best part about it is that uh, a little highs of my whole content creation career is when uh, when when uh, you know people send me really sweet messages and i just mm -hmm. say, i randomly voice record them and i say i send them audio messages or video messages also because that's i get sweet. like and and also the the first fan art oh my god that feeling i showed it to i mean if they na family group mein dal deta hu because i was so <laughs> that first fan art fan page fan uh, video that they make that 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 takes so much of effort that i never thought somebody this is what keeps me away from the loop yeah you know yeah, that that That's sounds like an out of the world feeling Like, wow. Yeah, and actually, it's really amazing to see your growth because you know now you're at one zero nine k followers, so you've come a long way from that. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Um. So now we'll move on to one more game. Uh, it's this or that. Okay. Uh, I'll start off. Uh, would you rather get one million followers or fifty million views? On I mean, is it one And by one or we randomly? No, anyone can start. There's no points in this one, by the way. You can save what you want. Fifty <laughs> <laughs> million views or one million followers? Yeah, okay. one million views or fifty million. One million followers or fifty million views? Followers. Definitely one million followers because if you get one million followers, then his views automatically fifty million will be. Right? Ah, exactly. 
मेरे पास अगर मैं अपने पर्सनल कॉन्टेक्ट में देखू मैं कल को गाना निकालूंगा उसमें से टेन परसेंट एक लाख लोग तो सुन ही लेंगे उस गाने को मैं कल को कोई यूट्यूब पर वीडियो डालता हूँ तो कुछ ना कुछ तो देख ही लेंगे वो वहां पे भी देख लेंगे एंड इंस्टाग्राम पे कुछ अपलोड करूंगा वो अपने दोस्तों के साथ शेयर करेंगे फिफ्टी मिलियन व्यूज तो वैसे ही आ जाएंगे कंसिस्टेंसी ओवर एनीथिंग हां यस इज दैट इज दैट अ कंसेंसस फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू या ओ लाइक डू यू गाइस एग्री ऑन दैट या या ओके ओके सो वुड यू रादर नेवर मेक अ रील अगेन or never see your reel again so never, never see your reel never see your reel again or never make a reel again okay never see your reel again mein matlab apni khud ki reel bhi included hoti hai i mean if you are making it to dekh hi yeah. yes but when it comes to fir can everyone else see maybe yeah everyone else see yeah. but yeah. you can't see make that okay Yeah, because yeah. i have more uh, because i have other outlets to get inspired and see content <laughs> that's why <laughs> because i you know in order to make create content you need to consume content it's just how it is right and anywhere anything you create um so if i have other outlets that i can consume content then i do not mind just making videos okay yeah, i have to kafi sochna pad raha hai itna to socha nahi do din mein zyada sochna pad raha hai uh i would rather uh, okay i let uh, muskan pehle muskan ka answer sunte fir uske baad answer i would i would definitely make a reel even if nobody is watching it i would still make something ko main kuch to banau at least so uh, if if for example mere uh, mere instagram se recording ka option chala jaye ya reel ka option hi chala jaye aur sirf aise ho ki i can scroll and i can watch other people's reel but i cannot shoot or i cannot put my so that's not something i would want i would also want matlab i would prefer making reels rather than watching it because wo content to you can get on youtube also to be honest so yeah you have other platforms uh inspirations <laughs> everywhere yeah yeah koi yeah. baat nahi main matlab i'm fine both ways if i never see her in again mera fayda hi hai mera instagram pe time kam waste hoga waise bhi matlab aisa hota hai ki mix lot of story mein main logo ki stories pe reels dekhta hu main mera time kam use hoga main meri मेरे थकान भी कम होगी आंखों को तो मैं मेरा टाइम बचेगा मैं फिर इंस्टाग्राम खोलूंगा सिर्फ खुद अपने काम के लिए इफ आई नेवर गेट टू मेक अ रील अगेन आई विल आई विल क्रिएट YouTube शॉर्ट्स एंड देन सेव देम एंड पोस्ट देम ऑन माय चैनल या एंड यू विल मेक म्यूजिक वीडियोस टू सो एन आईटीटीवी आई गेस या आई मीन आई कैन मेक आई कैन मेक अ शॉर्ट वीडियो आई या आई कैन पोस्ट इट एज अ रील डेफिनेटली ऑफ कोर्स हु सेड नो टू दैट आई कैन डेफिनेटली मेक अ शॉर्ट third party yeah. softwares are always available i will make short videos on that and then i'll post them smart yes, smart answer sense yeah kuch bhi karwa do loop hole right, but okay um <laughs> okay um so my next question is would you rather be able to watch your dreams on tv or would you rather watch a past memory on tv past I mean, I, I was just really quick. I, I, I would, I personally would cringe if I see my past memories on TV. Like, I would definitely love to see my dreams on TV because everybody, in fact, everybody would love to see my dreams on TV because everybody would like to see me metamorphose into a horse, which I dreamt about last night. I knew you would do that. I get the craziest dreams. I see. I literally, I, I, I was running away from a volcano in one of them, and I was wearing something oh. which. Uh, Uh, the stone age men used to wear and <laughs> so i'm totally up for watching my dreams it's um, it's it's content for me it, yeah. i get a lot of content from my dreams also yeah i would you, yeah I would definitely watch a dream on because because even like i even i get like crazy dreams like one time i got dreams like i got kidnapped and there was like a robot that was like 
it was a it was like a literally it was like a movie uh so i would love to watch my dreams on tv because memories i i already watched them through my right. mind hmm. so yeah <laughs> okay next question would you rather have no publicity or only bad publicity let's see i i think can i turn around the bad publicity No, yeah. There are there are two options. Um, uh, no publicity or you so only bad. have bad publicity. Yeah. Like, no loopholes here. Just. Oh God. Yeah. Actually, I'm. I already have. I already have a loophole. I mean, <laughs> but take it for what? No, no. Sure. Yes, you go first. The hell. I'd rather have bad publicity because they're both the same thing. No publicity is bad publicity. Publicity is publicity. There is no good and bad in that because uh, it, uh, people people want people uh, if, if considering from a celebrity point of view, people want uh, mm-hmm. celebrities. You know, people want to talk about celebrities. Everybody is bitching about uh, other ce- celebrities or the other, but that is exactly why celebrities exist to stay in the conversations of daily. you can say normal regular people right. whether for the good reasons or for the bad reasons publicity is publicity balki acha hai thodi bad publicity milti hai ek bar acha kaam kar bhi diya na to wo zyada us cheez ko hype mil jayega ki bhai yaar ye to itna ganda aadmi hai isne acha kaam kiya kaise with bad publicity there comes a lot of hate and i am really bad with dealing with hey like it really sometimes it gets to me so i would say no publicity i'll just like keep a low life it's fine uh yeah i can, i cannot bear it's just a trait that i have a toxic trait that i have that i cannot bear someone getting mad at me for something that i did i know i know i cannot control yeah. that i know I it's it, i know that's why the toxic toxic trait that i have but i just cannot stand someone being bad at me or something yeah. that i did uh, or you know someone being upset because of me so i'd rather i'd give up the publicity, publicity and like right. peace yeah I, i maybe i'd live the publicity to someone else we are sure you won't face anything in the future <laughs> no bad publicity Uh, one good thing about me is that I'm really good at taking criticism. So I think when it, you know, जब आपकी bad publicity हो रही है, तो there are gonna be critics who gonna tell you कि ना इस चीज की वजह से हो रही है, यहाँ हम गलत हो. So at least it's gonna at the end of the day it's gonna help me. Plus mm-hmm. वही just uh, just like Shreya said कि एक अच्छी चीज कर लो तो फिर उसको hype मिल जाता है कि लोग वो बुरी चीज नहीं देखेंगे. Would you rather use sandpaper as a towel or hot sauce as an eye drop? <laughs> Sandpaper. What? The, how is that a question? Sandpaper. Yeah. What about your skin? Right. I am okay Wait with scraping my skin rather than putting eyeballs because eyeballs. Like, there's nothing I can do about that, right? Uh, First option is sandpaper <laughs> as towel. Okay. I'm thinking of what will the consequences be? I uh, hot sauce as eye drops. Okay. Yes. Come on, as you have I, more fun with the with the eye drop yeah. than the sandpaper, right? Uh, come on. Nah. Okay. From a medical point of view, I'm talking. Let me put on my doctor glasses. So you if you know. use sandpaper as towel, so it is going to cause a lot of injuries, and it is going to definitely result in a lot of abrasions. The skin will is most probably going to peel off the I outer layer. I will stay dry. That is not an option. That is not an option. you don't have an option i'll tell you what so sand paper if you and uh, definitely your skin is going to be exposed blood is going to come out you are more uh, risk of uh, you are at a risk of catching infections you might die of something as small as uh, you know uh, catching a very small bacterial infection you're you are more likely to get yes you are more likely to catch aids also because it's transmitted by you know, via- <laughs> <laughs> if you use hot sauce as eye drops let me finish with my diagnosis okay uh, if you use eye drops as hot sauce uh, sorry a hot sauce as eye drops it is going to hurt for a little while because uh, uh, it's going to like just 
they hurt hurt in the eye because of the nerve endings and everything uh, but it is automatically going to be removed by the eyes auto protective mechanism of tears so right, it will come out blind or something no you won't Wow. I mean, yeah, I think you can get it. You can. I don't want it. You can. You of course, nobody wants either of them. Uh, but yes, you can. Nobody, nobody has told you not to wash your eyes after putting them as eye drops. So yeah. nobody. Ha, so we can use sandpaper as towel for like one second. Also, nobody has given any time limit. Yeah, exactly. We don't get any minimum. No, you have to. And you can't use the sandpaper as a towel for one second, considering that you just come out of the shower. Say, yeah. But there is no, there is no instructions that you have to be dry. You're using it as a towel, no. So you'll have to I use it. I, I'm just gonna pat it. I'm just gonna pat pat myself till I dry myself. That's what I'm saying. So you know, one last question for you guys before we end the segment. So for people who are just starting out in this line of work, content creation. What is that one piece of advice that you'd like to give them? Something that can you know help them. Okay, so I would only say that just dive right into the water. That's how you learn to swim. You just need to learn to stay afloat in the first initial segment. Starting the first mm-hmm. struggle, करेगा. But soon, धीरे धीरे जब तक पानी में नहीं उतरोगे, जब तक तैरना तो सीख जाओ. उसके बाद तुम सीखते रहना. Breast stroke क्या होती है? Butterfly क्या होता है? Freestyle क्या होता है? ये सब वो सब. Get into the water. Daro mat. It may seem scary, but it's your mm-hmm. friend. It you have to make it your place. And uh, what about you, Muskan? Ah, uh, when I started with content creation or making any video, everyone was like, very close friends of mine were like, "Why are you doing this?" And mm-hmm. fun fact, they've recently started with making reels. So and they tell that I've been their inspiration. <laughs> they tell that I've been their inspiration. So yeah, I think just like Shreya said, it's important to start. Or if you just start, kar diya to, boy, you grow as you go. But at least, jaw to say you have to go to go. So you need to, ek to you need to stay consistent. Okay, that is one thing that I've learned. It's it's. I mean, mm-hmm. I follow that religiously, and I think everyone should do. And I, I, I think that it takes a lot of efforts to stay consistent. Okay, if your one video, let's say it hits, you know, it hits ten million, and the other is not hitting, so that's when you're like, okay, one video was successful, but you need to keep up with that. You need to yeah. keep up with the number of the numbers that you're hitting. And um, other than that, one more thing that I would like to tell is is this this new this this concept that uh, I've. I figured out uh, uh, when I used to like there was this one reel which got a lot of hate, and because of that I realized there's this one thing that I would like to tell any budding content creator or anybody in general. Mm. If anybody trolls you, just troll the trollers. Especially people who can like I'm just saying that take it in a fun way if they they are going in a funny way or just like try mm. to mold it in a fun way so that they won't be offended. Nothing's nothing's harm in that, and they won't be offended and. You wouldn't feel bad after that either. So yeah, these are two advices that I would like to give. Exactly. It's gonna be increase our engagement at the end of the day. Let the hate come. Troll the trolls. I think uh, I think one of the things that I would say is uh, to be conscious. About what you're creating, you know, and mm. why you're creating the content. So, like, once you start, obviously, uh, uh, following Shreyas's and Muskan's advice, start once and be consistent, right? Once you do that, the the two very important and the hardest steps, I guess, uh, is to be conscious and uh, about what you're creating, why you're creating, and think about it as your content is like mm. a product, like a sales product. What yeah. value are you providing to the audience, to the consumer? Right, you have to think of it in uh, from business point of view. He, uh, are you informing them about something? Are you entertaining them, or are you inspiring them? There are three types of content, right? What type of content that you do you want to make, right? And what value are you going to bring to your audience? And once they do come up to your page, are they going to find the same amount of value in your other posts? Are they mm-hmm. going to spend time on your account? And if they are, they're going to follow you. You know, and that's why that's why people say to be consistent because the first time you appear on someone's explore, they might not follow you 
right away, right? But after uh, like... after seeing you on their explore for like the tenth time, they'll be like, "Kahan hai ye? Mujhe jaane do uske account pe." And then once they go to your account, they're gonna find videos that they relate to, maybe, and they're gonna find value in your content, and that that is ultimately gonna, uh, you know, persuade them to follow you. So you know, that's the that's the end goal is the the what what value you are going to provide to your audience and to the consumer that that should be a conscious uh, thought in your head while creating content and while posting content for sure that's one thing that i think of when i post creating content content yeah um, she, she just broke down why she just broke down the, every into into bits and pieces as to why creating content consistently is very important so yes mm. I get too much of business vibe over here. ऐसा लग रहा है business meeting में ही बैठे हैं इतनी strong. अंदर अंदर. Um okay guys um so we did concluded. Thank you guys so much for taking out the time of your day to come here and influence us to for you know about two hours. So thank you for attending Get Candid. Um. Uh, With headlines presented by Spot and Poker. Guys, it was so much. Thank you, guys. I mean, I I'm really impressed. I won't lie. I was honored to see you guys. Like I've yeah. seen all of you on Instagram. You've all been in my feed at some point. Like everyone in Simples is really glad to see you, and we hope we get to see you in person. If oh it's... yes. Oh. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. I'll we'll be more than glad to uh, be a part of such a session, such a. Uh, such a discussion uh, in real life also in in oh, yeah. vivo would love it definitely yeah. totally you hope to be in talks with you guys for simple that would be amazing like it would be amazing. Oh, sure yes. okay. the pleasure is all ours and yeah thank you so much selfish. for having me guys <laughs>